guys, it's Ifei and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be filming my Microlox wash day routine. I haven't really sought out to film this video today, but I figured that I would try because I'm washing my hair, so why not, right? Background information for this video, I am five weeks post retie at the time of filming and I'm also about 10 days away from my one year Microlox anniversary. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know what your wash day routine looks like. And of course, if you're feeling the vibe at any point, consider subscribing. So the first thing I do is I just separate all of my locks with my fingers. I am basically just trying to make sure that none of my locks are marrying or joining together. So I'm tugging at the end very gently and just pulling all of my locks apart. Then I am separating my head into two and I am just going to tie half of my hair into this silk scrunchie. And now I am going to flat twist the perimeter of my hair. And I was just laughing because I couldn't figure out how to show you at this angle, but there's a better view coming up. But essentially because um, the perimeter of my hair has been slipping, if, if you've been following my micro lock journey, you guys already know all about this, but my loctician recommended recently that I start cornrowing the perimeter of my hair rather than actually braiding it to help with slippage. But of course, because I do not know how to cornrow, I am flat twisting instead. <laughs> But the rest of my hair, we're just going to do a simple plait, a three strand braid, and I'm going to do that throughout my head. The next step involves just loosening up your braid, specifically around the base, but also throughout the length of your braid. This just helps during the washing process to make sure that the soap, or the shampoo rather, can run through your hair and your scalp easily. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> So I'm still scarred from using rubber bands on my hair back when I was a loose natural, so I prefer to use these seamless hair ties. I'll link a couple in my description box, but basically you just fold over the end of your hair and then you use a rubber band or in my case a hair tie and just loop it over to keep it in place. Don't do it too tight, otherwise it'll make it difficult to take it off. I have found, in my opinion, the best shampoo for Microlox. I'm just using the Dr. Broner's Peppermint Castle Soap and I dilute it 50% with water, 50% with the castle soap. And I like to mix it in an applicator bottle because it just makes it a lot easier to target your scalp directly. So I just mix it up in an applicator bottle and now we can head into the shower. 
First things first, you guys already know, you just need to completely saturate all of your hair. Make sure it is soaking wet. Use the balls of your fingers to massage your scalp. Next, I'm going in with the shampoo or the diluted castile soap rather in an applicator bottle and I am just putting that all over my scalp. And guys, like this is the best thing I've used. I've tried using the official Sister Lock shampoo. I've used some other brands. You guys already know this, but this, it's not only the most affordable, but I just love how soothing the peppermint feels on my scalp. It lathers really well, but it doesn't leave my hair feeling stripped. It honestly is just the best thing. I wish I had discovered this back when I was a loose natural because I think it probably would work just as well on loose hair as well. I really like to take my time and make sure that I'm covering every single lock, making sure I'm working into the braid and making sure I'm running the shampoo down all throughout the length of each section as well. Just make sure you're not being too rough. It probably looks like I'm being a little rough, but I'm not, I'm being very gentle. And I really, really, really actually enjoy washing my hair. I know that sounds crazy, but the one thing I didn't like about washing loose hair was just how much shed hair would come out in the shower. And obviously you don't have to deal with that when it comes to locks because your shed hair is actually in the locks. So it makes the cleanup process a lot easier, which I definitely appreciate as well, of course, as not having to detangle beforehand and afterhand. And you guys already know the drill if you have loose natural hair. So next you just rinse off all the shampoo out of your hair. This is a time when you really need to be patient because it's possible that some shampoo might be stuck in one of the braids or something. So I like to go section by section and just keep running the water through until it runs all the way clear. And then I literally just repeat the process again. Your boy got the full body do-rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Once I'm out of the shower, I take a clean cotton t-shirt and I dab every single braid individually and just try and soak up as much of the water as possible. Then I'd like to go in and immediately take out all those bands because in the past when I've left the bands on to dry, they create this bump in my locks and I don't really like the way that looks. So I've been taking out the bands right out of the shower recently. Please can do what you wanna live how you wanna spin what you wanna be who you wanna be We all stutter till I die I leave my hair to air dry and this was taken about two to three hours after I washed my hair. Now you can see I'm just taking all the braids down really gently. So let's get to this takedown process. Are you 
you guys feeling all the slow motion <laughs> hair shots? I've always wanted to make a video like this. But anyway, now I'm going in with my organic jojoba oil. This is literally the only oil I use on my hair. So first I just go in and I apply it all over my scalp. I massage it in and then I take a bit more time and go in predominantly around my hairline because that's where I've noticed that I have dry scalp the most although I will say it's getting a lot better and I'll share my theories on why I think that is in my one year microlox update video which should hopefully be out soon And that is it. This is literally how I style my hair on a day to day. You guys know I don't do too much to it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. Leave a comment down below. If at any point you were feeling the vibe, subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week. I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care.